What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you exactly what network security is. So let's get into it. All right. So in this video, we're going to talk about all of this wonderful information on your screen so you could be thoroughly educated in the world of network security. Exactly. What is network security? So network security, this is a broad term that encompasses various technologies, processes, and policies designed to protect networks, devices, programs, and data from cyber attacks, unauthorized access, and damage. Now, the primary goal of network security is to create a secure infrastructure that can withstand and repel malicious activities while ensuring the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data. And here are the key characteristics of network security. So the first is confidentiality. And this ensures that sensitive information is accessible only to authorized users. Then there's integrity. This ensures that data remains accurate and unaltered during transmission and storage. And then you have availability. And this ensures that network services and resources are available to authorized users when needed. All right, next, let's talk about the importance of network security. So the significance of network security cannot be overstated given the increasing frequency and sophistication of cyber attacks. So here are some reasons why network security is crucial. The first is the protection of sensitive data. So network security, this safeguards sensitive data such as personal information, financial records, and intellectual property from theft and unauthorized access. Then there is the prevention of cyber attacks. So effective network security measures, they help prevent various various cyber attacks, including malware, ransomware, phishing, and denial of service attacks. Then you have business continuity. So network security ensures the uninterrupted operation of business activities by protecting network infrastructure from disruptions and downtime. You have compliance with regulations. So many industries, they are subject to regulatory requirements that mandate specific security measures to protect data and compliance with these regulations is essential to avoid legal penalties and reputational damage. And then we have the protection of brand reputation. So a security breach, this can severely damage an organization reputation. So implementing robust security measures, this helps build trust with customers and partners. All right. So next, we're going to talk about the key components of network security. So network security, this compromises multiple layers of defense, each addressing different aspects of network protection. So here are some of the key components of network security. The first is firewalls. So firewalls, they act as a barrier between internal networks and external threats, and they monitor and control incoming and outgoing traffic based on predefined security roles. Then you have what are called intrusion detection and prevention systems. So IDS and IPS systems, they monitor network traffic for suspicious activities and take action to prevent potential threats. And intrusion detection systems, they alert administrators to potential intrusions, while intrusion prevention systems, they block malicious traffic. Next, we have what are called VPNs. So VPNs, they create secure encrypted connections over the internet, allowing remote users to access the network securely. And VPNs, they are essential for protecting data that is transmitted over public networks. You have antivirus and anti-malware software. So these programs, they detect, quarantine, and remove malicious software from devices and networks. And regular updates, they ensure protection against the latest threats. Another component is access control. So access control mechanisms such as user authentication and authorization, they ensure that only authorized users can access network resources and multi-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security. You have encryption. So encryption, this protects data by converting it into an unreadable format that can only be deciphered with the correct decryption key. And this ensures the confidentiality and integrity of data during transmission and storage. Next, we have network segmentation, and this involves dividing a network into smaller, isolated segments to limit the spread of attacks and improve security. In each segment, it can have its own security policies and controls. And then we have security information and event management. And these systems, they collect and analyze security data from various sources to provide real-time threat detection and incident response. And SIEM systems, they help organizations identify and respond to security incidents promptly. 
All right, so let's move on and talk about some common network security threats. So network security threats are constantly evolving, making it essential to stay informed about the latest attack vectors. So here are some common network security threats. The first is malware. So malware, this can include viruses, worms, trojans, and ransomware. And this is basically malicious software designed to damage, disrupt, or gain unauthorized access to computer systems. Then we have what is called phishing. So phishing attacks, they use deceptive emails, messages, or websites to trick users into revealing sensitive information, such as login credentials and financial details. You have what is called a denial of service attack. In the DOS attack, they overwhelm network resources, rendering them unavailable to legitimate users. And then you have what is called a DDOS or a distributed denial of service attack. And this amplifies the impact by using multiple compromised systems to launch an attack. And then you have what is called a man in the middle attack. And this is where attackers intercept and alter communication between two parties without their knowledge. And this can lead to data theft and unauthorized access. And then we have what is called a SQL injection attack. And this exploits vulnerabilities and web applications to execute malicious SQL queries, allowing attackers to access, modify, or delete database data. And then you have what is called a zero day exploit. And zero day exploits, they target vulnerabilities in software that are unknown to the vendor. And these attacks are particularly dangerous because there are no existing patches to fix the vulnerabilities. Next, we have what is called an insider threat. So insider threats, they originate from within the organization. It can be intentional or unintentional. So employees, contractors, or partners with access to the network, they can pose significant security risks. And then we have a password attack. So password attacks like brute force attacks and credential stuffing, they involve attempting to gain access to accounts by guessing or using stolen passwords. All right, so let's move on and talk about some best practices for network security. So implementing robust network security measures, this requires a combination of technology, policies, and user awareness. So here are some best practices for network security. The first is regular security audits and assessments. So you want to conduct regular security audits and assessments to identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses in the network. And you want to address any issues promptly to maintain a secure environment. Then you want to do some employee training and awareness. So educate employees about security best practices, such as recognizing phishing emails, using strong passwords, and reporting suspicious activities. The regular training, this helps build a security conscious culture. Then there's patch management. So you want to keep software and systems up to date with the latest patches and updates and regular patches. This helps protect against known vulnerabilities and exploits. You also want to implement strong authentication. So use strong authentication mechanisms such as multi-factor authentication to ensure that only authorized users can access network resources. You also want to use encryption. So you want to encrypt sensitive data during transmission and storage to protect it from unauthorized access. And you also want to use strong encryption protocols and manage the encryption keys securely. You want to implement network segmentation. So you want to segment the network into smaller isolated segments to limit the spread of attacks and improve security. And then you also want to implement strict access controls between the segments. You want to monitor network traffic. So you want to use network monitoring tools to track network traffic and detect anomalies because monitoring this helps identify potential threats and respond to incidents promptly. You also want to implement firewalls and intrusion detection prevention systems. So deploy firewalls and intrusion detection and prevention systems to protect the network perimeter and internal segments. Then you want to configure these systems with the appropriate security policies. Then there's backup and recovery. So you want to regularly back up critical data and systems to ensure that they can be restored in the event of a security incident. And you also want to test the backup and recovery process periodically. And then you want to develop an incident response plan. So create and maintain an incident response plan that outlines procedures for detecting, responding to, and recovering from security incidents. And also conduct regular drills and simulations to ensure the plan is effective. Next, let's talk about the role of regulatory compliance in network security. So regulatory compliance, this plays a significant role in network security by establishing standards and guidelines for protecting sensitive data. In organizations, they must adhere to various regulations depending on their industry and location. And some common regulations include the following. So you have what is called GDPR or General Data Protection Regulation. And this is a comprehensive data protection regulation that applies to organizations handling personal data of EU residents and it mandates strict security measures and provides individuals with rights over their data. 
So you have what is called HIPAA, and that is the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. So HIPAA, it sets standards for protecting sensitive patient health information in the healthcare industry, and it requires organizations to implement security measures to ensure the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of electronic health information. Then there's PCI DSS, or the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard. So this applies to organizations that handle credit card transactions, and it outlines security requirements for protecting cardholder data and maintaining a secure environment. You have what is called FISMA, or the Federal Information Security Management Act. And this is a U.S. federal law that requires federal agencies and contractors to implement information security programs to protect government information and systems. And then we have what is called SOX. And this mandates that publicly traded companies implement internal controls and security measures to protect financial data and ensure accurate financial reporting. Now, adhering to these regulations, this helps organizations protect sensitive data, avoid legal penalties, and build trust with customers and partners. All right, so let's move on and talk about the future of network security. So as technology continues to evolve, so do the threats and challenges associated with network security. So here are some trends and developments that are shaping the future of network security. The first is artificial intelligence and machine learning. So AI and machine learning are increasingly being used to enhance network security. And these technologies, they can analyze vast amounts of data to detect anomalies, predict threats, and automate responses. And then there is the zero trust architecture. So the zero trust model, this assumes that threats can exist both inside and outside the network perimeter. It requires strict verification of every user and device attempting to access network resources, regardless of their location. And then there's cloud security. So as organizations continue to migrate to cloud environments, cloud security is becoming a critical component of network security. And cloud security, this involves protecting data, applications, and services in the cloud from various threats and ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements. Then there's IoT security. So the proliferation of the Internet of Things devices or IoT devices, this introduces new security challenges. So ensuring the security of IoT devices and the networks they connect to is essential to prevent unauthorized access and data breaches. And then there's blockchain technology. So this offers potential solutions by enhancing network security. Its decentralized and immutable nature can be used to secure transactions, data storage, and identity management. Then we have quantum computing. And this poses both opportunities and challenges for network security. So while it can enhance encryption and solve complex security problems, it also threatens to break current encryption algorithms. So organizations must prepare for the future implications of any type of quantum computing. And then there's automated security. So automation and network security, this can streamline processes such as threat detection, incident response, and patch management. So automated security solutions, they reduce the burden on IT staff and improve response times. And then we have what is called Secure Access Service Edge. And this integrates network security and wide area networking capabilities into a single cloud-delivered service model. And it offers a holistic approach to securing remote workforces and distributed networks. And then we have what is called behavioral analytics, and this involves monitoring user behavior patterns to detect anomalies and potential security threats. So by analyzing deviations from normal behavior, organizations, they can identify and respond to insider threats and advance persistent threats. All right, so let's move on and talk about some best practices for future proofing network security. So to stay ahead of emerging threats and technologies, organizations, they should adopt the following best practices for future proofing their network security. The first is continuous monitoring and improvement. So regularly monitoring network security and updating security measures to address new threats is paramount. So you want to implement a continuous improvement process to enhance security practices and technologies. You also want to adopt a proactive security posture. So move from a reactive to a proactive security approach. You want to anticipate potential threats and vulnerabilities and implement preventative measures to mitigate these risks. You also want to leverage advanced technologies. So you want to incorporate advanced technologies such as AI, machine learning, and blockchain into your network security strategy because these technologies can provide enhanced threat detection, automation, and resilience. You also want to invest in employee training. So regularly train employees on the latest security threats, best practices, and the importance of their role in maintaining network security so that you can foster a culture of security awareness and vigilance. 
You also should implement a zero trust model. So adopt the zero trust architecture to enforce strict verification of all users and devices attempting to access network resources, because this approach minimizes the risk of insider threats and unauthorized access. You also want to enhance endpoint security. So you want to strengthen security measures for all endpoints, including mobile devices, IoT devices, and remote workstations. You want to use endpoint protection platforms and endpoint detection and response solutions to monitor and secure those endpoints. You also need to collaborate with industry partners. So you want to engage in information sharing and collaboration with industry partners, cybersecurity organizations, and government agencies, because staying informed about the latest threats and best practices is in your best interest. Also, you want to conduct regular penetration testing. So perform regular pen tests to identify and address vulnerabilities in your network, because pen tests, they simulate real world attacks to evaluate the effectiveness of your security measures. You also want to develop a robust incident response plan. So ensure your incident response plan is comprehensive, up to date and tested regularly. An effective incident response plan this minimizes the impact of security incidents and accelerates recovery. And then you want to stay compliant with regulations. So you want to keep abreast of regulatory requirements and ensure your network security practices comply with relevant laws and standards. And you also want to regularly review and update those compliance policies whenever possible. All right, so let's wrap all this up. Network security. This is an essential aspect of protecting digital assets, ensuring business continuity, and maintaining the trust of customers and partners. As cyber threats continue to evolve, organizations, they must adopt a multi-layered approach to network security, incorporating a range of technologies, policies, and practices to safeguard their networks. Now, understanding the key components of network security, common threats, and best practices, all of that is crucial for building a robust defense against cyber attacks. And by staying informed about emerging trends, and future-proofing their network security strategies, organizations that can mitigate risks and protect their valuable data and resources. So whether you are an IT professional, a business leader, or an individual user, prioritizing network security, this is vital in the interconnected digital landscape. And by implementing comprehensive security measures and fostering a culture of security awareness, we can collectively create a safer and more secure digital environment for everyone.